Chrome is moving towards a new experience that allows users to choose to browse without third-party cookies. If you're analyzing your own website and seeing this console message in this video session, let's take a look at what this is and what you should consider. Basically, this uh, message is telling us as website owners to be ready for upcoming changes to Google Chrome, whereby Google Chrome may actually depreciate support for third-party cookies. Definitely check out the help section so that you can audit your website and take precautions before the change happens. Basically, if you're seeing this and thinking, okay, what's going on? When you press on the option here, these are the script um, cookies that's coming from third party that Google may block. So the tests that you can do is highlighted on Rank Your Website. What you can do is actually use the settings of Google Chrome, your privacy and security. You can actually, for testing purposes, block third-party cookies. You can do that. Also, there is some exper experimental Google Chrome flags Test third-party cookie phase out. You can enable that or even check out different ones for testing purposes. Also, using Web Developer Toolbar, you can press on F12 to bring Web Developer Toolbar. Press on Application. On the panel here, you'll see cookies. And anything, obviously, that is coming from an external site, you want to double check as to what they are doing on your website, whether they offer functionality or tracking purposes. What you want to do is make sure that your website functions correctly when Google Chrome disables third party cookies. So as we can see, there are some different ones for testing purposes. Same site none that is not partitioned so definitely check out the cookies in the application tab here to see what third-party cookies and one what functionality they do on your website another great feature for checking is the network tab simply press on the refresh icon empty cache and hard reload google chrome then press on the url that you're analyzing so I'll show you a different one. Okay. Here we have cookies. Okay, I'll show you this one because it's still not published. But the network tab gives you an option to see, okay, what are the headers? What are the referrer policies? Content security policies on a website. Then you have cookies option here and you will see what cookies are set to get an idea as to what third-party cookies may be loaded on your website also the coverage tab offers you more insights in terms of looking at the scripts that's loaded for a given web page and here anything that's external you want to perhaps double check that to see, okay, if that external script is loaded for this web page, do they also associate cookie with that script? Because most of them do. So then you can take precautions and then make your website ready for the upcoming updates for Google Chrome. One way or another, you need to audit your website. If you're using Google scripts, such as Google Ads conversion tracking, Google Analytics perhaps, then what you want to do is you want to have a content mode version 2 cookie, um, you know, make your website be ready for content mode version 2 by providing options for your website visitors to see what cookies are loaded 
and give them choices to either accept or reject them because that is the future of Google Chrome. So basically this message in Google Chrome is just a warning telling you, you know what? Chrome is moving towards blocking third party cookies. So therefore, as a website owner or a web developer, you need to be ready. Okay. So also Google incognito option is a, another way for you to test your website. Look at different parts of your website because different functionality may be um, used on different parts of a given website. I thank you for learning with Frankia and definitely check out the blog. Use the comment sections to provide your comments. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.